All right, guys, we are live here tonight from Commerce, Georgia, which I believe Tau is, what, 30 minutes north of Athens? About 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. So we both got here eh, within an hour of each other, and I got here a little bit sooner than they, than they did, had a little bit of chance to check out the lay of the land here. But the real important thing is tomorrow. Now, Tau knows all about Athens. He's been there countless times. He knows the drill. And we both just got through watching Bill's video about opinion-based facts. And basically my opinion on that whole thing is kind of like everybody has said. You can't win an argument with opinion-based facts. So I'll get my chance tomorrow to find out which is better, Knoxville or Athens. I already know which one I'm going to think is better. But I'll, instead of using an opinion based on what I've read, I'll actually get to check it out for myself. That's not why we're here. We're going to talk about the game a little bit. Um, Tal, what do you think is the keys tomorrow to victory for your Bulldogs? The keys to Georgia is we need to establish a running game. Something Georgia's failed to do in most of their games this year. Way Sean Ely, Caleb King, Carlson Thomas. They got to get it going. If they don't get it going, the running game opens up the pass. We all know A.J. Green's back. We got to get him as many touches as possible. In order to do that, I believe we got to establish a good, hard-nosed running game. Yeah, that's going to be the key for both of us. Uh, I listened to, uh, I think it's called Bulldog uh, Bulldog Friday Night. Mm -hmm. I'm on the way down here with Boss Bailey and, and some other guy, I don't know his name, but he talked about establishing the running game, uh, getting A.J. some catches. He emphasized that A.J. Green has got to have a bunch of catches tomorrow. And what I think's got to happen for Tennessee, and I've been over this before in other videos, yes, um, Tarnpool's got to have at least a buck fifty tomorrow, in my opinion, or the the team as a whole needs 150 yards rushing. We got to get Gerald Jones open. We got to get him five or six catches. And I think I think it's going to be important in this game, as fired up as Georgia's going to be, based on what I've heard coming down here. We've got to stretch the field. We've got to utilize Justin Hunter and. Otherwise, like I've said, we could get blown out. And I, I don't know what Tao thinks about Georgia's chances. but Well, if you remember last year's game, Knoxville, 45-19. I guarantee you that is in the back of some of these players' minds. And uh, at least I hope it is. I hope that little puts a little spark underneath them. Personally, I think this game's going to be really close. I know Tennessee is fired up and a little pissed off after what happened in Baton Rouge Saturday. And uh, if that stays in their mind too much, then I believe Georgia – you know, we'll win this game. If they're still stuck in Baton Rouge, then, you know, it might be an easy walk for Georgia. I think it's going to be a very close game, and it's, it's going to be a fun one to watch. I'm glad This is here. by far the uh, not a big game on the national stage. It's not even a big game in the SEC, Tom. Mm -hmm. But to this guy and to me and to Tennessee fans and Georgia fans and to these two teams, this game determines which program goes sure. this way and which program goes that way. Or down the if Georgia fires Mark Rick at the end of this year, at the end of this week, whenever, if they fire him after this season, do the Bulldogs realize they could be in the same situation Tennessee well, is in? Look where the program now. was before Coach Rick. Horrible. Look where it is now. We have two SEC championships, many BCS bowl appearances. Coach Rick's done a whole lot for this program. And now we're, you know, we're starting to hit the downfall. If I believe Coach Rick and, and the boys can bring it up, I sure can. Uh, the problem is we've recruited some thugs, and that's not good. Number two is you got to coach them. you gotta, you got to coach with what you're dealt. Got to coach them up. Got to coach them up. got to. And Coach Rick's the head coach, and it's his job for the, to coach the guys. I love Coach Rick, and I want him to stay because I believe he can turn around. But I just the sad thing about it is with all the pressure, a new athletic director – you know we don't know how it, you know we don't know how he's going to react if see what happens if Georgia loses this week to Tennessee and next week to Vanderbilt. There's no way, there is no way he makes it out if we lose Tennessee and Vanderbilt. I, 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 there's no way with all the heat that's on him right now. There's no way. Should he? Should in my chance if we do lose them two games, should he still be the coach? I, I agree. But it's going to remain to be seen. Who is the athletic director? Greg McGarry. Was, was from Florida, assistant athletic director for many years, and now is the athletic director from Georgia. Used to be a tennis player at Georgia. Think about this, guys. Wouldn't you hate to be in his shoes right now? His first big move 
is AD at UGA is trying to decide whether or not to get rid of Mark Richt. He's what the winningest coach you guys have had. He's yeah. definitely the winningest coach. He has the best winning percentage. He has a better winning percentage than Billy. When you boil it down to the nuts and bolts of all of it, it's up to the players to go out there and produce what these coaches are teaching you. Georgia and Tennessee lead the Southeastern Conference right now in one statistic. Thugger. It's been an ongoing war between these two. Tennessee's guys do something idiotic. Georgia retorts with something even more, even more stupid. Yep. And I don't know about you, but as a volunteer fan and as a college football fan, it's sickening to see that crap. It hurts me. It tears me up. And it, it's even making it into articles. You know, you got the 18, 17-year-old kid, um, the recruit that's trying to decide whether to go to Alabama or Georgia, talking about he knows he could get instant playing time here at Georgia, but he don't want to come because <laughs> there's no discipline. And I know Mark Rick's better than that. He I know is. he is. So it, it's you can't blame all that on the coaches. Tau, score. 21-20, Georgia. 21-20, Georgia. I've had three or four different scores this week, but I'm going with the one I've said most, 24-20, Tennessee. I think it's going to be a – it's definitely going to be a slobber knocker. I think A.J. is going to get some big catches. He's going to do something spectacular. I think Torrin Poole is going to break somebody's ankles tomorrow. It's going to be a good game. And – for you guys out there that um, are looking at this as the who gives a shit game, like I mentioned, this is huge for Tennessee and Georgia. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. Yep. So, all the rest of you guys, Alabama Nation, uh, whatever you guys call yourselves in South Carolina, the, the cockwads or whatever, <laughs> you guys have a good game tomorrow. Um, I personally, I'm pulling for South Carolina. Go Cox. Nothing against any of the fans of Alabama on here, but kind of like Bama Boy said, I'm ready to see Alabama lose. Tired of it. That must be our cue to get off of here, guys. Go Big Orange. Go Dogs.